Yeah, Glenn, Alina, it was incredibly heartbreaking to watch the family of 15-year-old Robert Plyley Jr. really break down during that news conference this afternoon here in Rancho Cucamonga. The San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department is now offering new information in hopes that this will lead to Robert's killer. Rob, you had a smile that could brighten anybody's day no matter what you were going through. He loved to laugh and have fun. His energy was like no other. I miss my son. I miss his smile and his hugs. I miss his voice and his laugh. You don't know how much one life can alter your entire existence until the sudden moment that you find your child is gone and you'll never see him again. There's no greater pain than that. That was Robert's mom among detectives. She's pleading for anyone with information to come forward. Now, I want to show you what the Sheriff's Department released today. These are some of the images that they want you to take a closer look at. They were captured from cell phone video at that Halloween party. Right now, there are two persons of interest. The first is, is described as a Hispanic male between 16 and 20 years old. He's got black hair, a thin mustache, and was wearing a white t-shirt that night. The other person of interest is, is, is described as a Hispanic female, also 16 to 20 years old with black hair, a medium build. Now, one of the distinctive features that uh, that she was wearing that night was a T-shirt, a black T-shirt with a white logo that said no justice, no pizza. Through our investigation, we learned that there had been a large fight at the party. During the fight, Robert Pliley Jr. had been shot. Through witness interviews and social media, we learned of two involved parties, which are now persons of interest in the murder of Robert Pliley Jr. Based on the video, from what we could see, it appears to us that Robert stepped in and stopped a male from fighting a female, and that's when he was shot. Now, these are some of the photos Robert Jr.'s father shared with us. He says his son was ambitious, athletic, energetic, and as a kid, he was a kid who loved his friends. The 15-year-old and Altaloma High School sophomore died on the morning of November 1st while attending a Halloween party in Bloomington. Deputies from the Fontana Sheriff Station were called out to a neighborhood on Geronimo Avenue near Gregory Street at 1224 a.m. They found Robert suffering from a gunshot wound on the driveway of a home on Geronimo Avenue. Uh, he was taken to a hospital where he died and authorities say the fight happened outside now when run when Robert tried to intervene I talked to his father who says his son was a hero for trying to help that girl but sadly it cost him his life investigators say several high school students were at the party but also there were lots of adults so it wasn't just a high school party it's still unclear what the relationship is between those two persons of interest again all this information is being released in hopes that this will lead to the killer of Robert Pliley Jr. Now back out here live, the family is offering a $10,000 reward and people should know that you can remain anonymous. If you do have information, you just call 800-78-CRIME. Reporting live in Rancho Cucamonga, I'm Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News.